This is an original frame design by a man named Fred Herr from New Hope, Pennsylvania. His student, Ben Badura, I had the opportunity to work with, so I know this pattern quite well. Uh, it's carved out of basswood, it's water gilded with 23 karat gold, and it has some very subtle surface characteristics which I'd like to point out. First of all, it has this razzle pattern on the uh, outer and inner edge, which is done by walking a screwdriver into the surface of the gold after it's been gilded. Another very interesting detail is it has a suggestion of a corner ornament rather than a definite ornament. And there's punch work that goes along on the panel. So the frame uh, was made in keeping with the tradition of frame making and gilding, but it's very modern in its concept. This Tangi painting has what appears to be the original frame. It's a very interesting design that we call a baguette. It's just a simple gilded cap which goes around. It has a piece of velvet which is mounted to the center point. And then the canvas is actually floated. You can see the edges of the canvas around a thinner little baguette. So you have these very thin gold edge lines which echo some of the design concepts in the painting where you have the lines going uh, in and out of connecting these various elements. So you have this wonderful streamlined modernist aesthetic that the frame has, the painting also contains. It's water gilded, it has burnished uh, water 23 karat gold, it's got the lap lines also creating more linear elements and uh, altogether it's uh, a very interesting uh, stylistic uh, aesthetic of the late 40s and early 50s. So we have a rare opportunity to look at the back of this uh, Tangi painting. And what's important about this is every frame on the back tells a story about its provenance and its history. And you can see here that the various dealers who have handled it, even the artist's handwriting is on the back of this, on the stretcher, uh, giving the title and uh, his home address. And uh, pencil inscriptions like this are invaluable for curators and researchers to understand uh, what the artist uh, was thinking, what their titles were, and what kind of frames they put on them, whether it's original or not to the painting. Bill Adair has shown us that frames are much more than bookends. They really serve to separate a picture from the room. The important question we have to ask ourselves now, of course, is what frame will do the job most successfully of separating the picture from its wall. Conservators look for three qualities in good frames. First, a frame should share the same period as a picture. Second, the frame should retain its gilding. And third, a frame should participate in the composition of the picture through its color, through the depth of its profile, and through the arrangement of its ornaments. According to Bill Adair, there are some frames in the Krieger collections that perform superbly. What about the others? Should they be replaced? There is strong consensus that a frame is also a moment in the history of taste. And in that sense, what we see in the Krieger collection reflects what curators, art collectors and art dealers considered good frames in the 50s and the 60s. They certainly pleased David and Carmen Krieger, the founders of the museum.